What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. Halloween ends and that Comic-Con CinemaCon I meant to say footage that we got a few days ago. Uh and I did like two videos already. I'm doing a third one to talk about as you seen the thumbnail. The idea of that description we got about a kitchen brawl between Michael and Lori actually occurring in the film's opening. And what I mean is we saw in the stage of or at the end of Halloween Kills we saw the two kind of like having their own standoffs looking at how, it was trying to imply they're looking out into each other trying to set up that final battle with Lori looking out of her her view and Michael looking out of his view from up in the Myers house after killing her daughter and there's also the alternate ending where she picks up the phone here's Michael breathing after Karen has died realize what he's done vows to take take vengeance against the against the shape what if Halloween ends actually starts where kills left off and there's an encounter between Lori who still learns about what happened to Karen and she goes out there into the night we pick up still Halloween 2018 night and she goes out there to the Myers house confronts Michael and they have a brawl of some sorts let's just say that's what happens and for whatever reason because it's not just it's not told to us what kitchen this is in this brawl that apparently goes down what if this is the myers house what if this is the opening of the film and of course what would happen is jamie tries to kill him Lori stroke tries to kill him it doesn't work out because she stopped like l o cool j ronnie stopped her in halloween h2o for whatever reason michael's taken into custody and what if they do that again you know the whole taken into custody thing while i while again it would be like okay again honestly it's better than having us wonder where he was for four years having him get caught and taken back out while again it it draw it brings up the question of okay why is he always doing this on halloween not to say that he didn't do it four years ago because again there's supposed to also be that four-year time jump but why is he doing it now why are you breaking out now what is so special about this halloween that was not special about the other three michael <laughs> but that's better than having him just out there in the ether and then him just reappearing like halloween h12 he's supposedly gone for 20 years okay well where where was he where was he where was he for those 20 years so having to get caught again if they were to do that i don't know how you would feel about it i at this point would again have my have my issue with it but not as much so as oh he was gone for four years we're doing this four-year time jump and you know he's just back now where was he where was he for four years what was he doing and i think they'll try i think they'll answer that so i'll i'll lay off of that <laughs> until proven otherwise but you know the opening starting off with them battling in the kitchen i could get behind something like that happening and then you do a four-year time jump where we have a more character-driven narrative and we learn about Lori and what she's been up to learn about allison Lori about learn about Lindsay, what her life has been like see them connect see how their bond has been formed shout out to you uh also Lori's con i saw a tweet over on twitter you know who you are if you watch my video i saw something you mentioned where no one seemed to be talking about the fact that Lori's back in a bar as if that bar photo with Lori, allison and Lindsay could be hinting at the character of Lori getting back into a drinking habit a drinking problem and from the trauma of what happened in 2018 and kills and you know she's just maybe in a more darker place mentally because of that uh because we don't know what type of Lori Stroll we're gonna get in this movie I have seen people shout out to you Killjoy Jake I believe this was you mentioned that maybe the film will end with Lori Strode being the only survivor left with Michael Myers in a big battle and that's where the kitchen brawl happens but I just think it would be a nice way to so, to throw everyone off because I think that's the obvious answer people will go with that this is somehow going to happen either somewhere in the middle or at the end of the film but what if it actually goes down at the very beginning it's something that relates to the fact that Michael and Lori had a brawl and potentially a secret continuation of what went down in the night of 2018 where Lori still found out about what Michael did to Karen hunted him down went out of her way to go to the Myers house or wherever they or wherever she managed to locate him and had a battle with him she ended up getting the upper hand somehow I've seen people talking about oh that's unrealistic because he killed all these firefighters you know I will suspend my disbelief for that more so than Michael getting his neck stomped on Michael getting a pitchfork through his back michael proceeding to still get up get beaten 
shot at multiple times and then still be alive. You know, I'll take Lori stabbing him and gaining some advantage over that man versus Michael surviving all of that stuff. Not that, of course, you can say that it's completely impossible. It's just that you already told us he's not supposed to be supernatural anymore. And I'll, I'll continue to think that because that's what you're telling us. He's not supernatural anymore in this timeline. But stuff like that, that that would fall into supernatural vibes for some people. You you start to lose them when you have your character who's not supposed to be supernatural sustaining so much damage without getting hurt. And it's the type of damage you decide to depict. Again, having his neck stomped on. <laughs> the pitchfork to the back. Getting shot multiple times from close range, I believe it was. And just that whole mob attack. And yet he still get, oh, I'm fine. Let me go kill Karen now. What? <laughs> but he's still not supposed to be supernatural. Okay, I'll continue to rock with it. But don't do anything else overly dramatic that would say otherwise. Because there's clearly not... I can't even argue against people who will say that he is supernatural with stuff that they have as evidence from Halloween Kills. I can say that there that wasn't their intent because it wasn't their intent and their narrative is still their narrative that he's not supernatural. But the fact of the matter is when someone wants to argue that you're not telling your narrative correctly about him not being supernatural, everything that he endured in Halloween Kills is the evidence that I cannot refute. But mainly I want to just come on here and talk about the idea of Laurie Strode and Michael Myers and that kitchen brawl actually starting out the film and being like being like a nice surprise for all of us to see a potential continuation of the night of Halloween 2018. Then you do it for your time. Time jump you have a narrative potentially sent around Lori more so and Allison more so Lindsay a lot more because I think Lindsay was potentially wasted a lot of, in a lot of ways in Halloween Kills and we didn't to learn too much about her and what she's been up to so hopefully we get something like that in Halloween Ends and if the film opens with that brawl I know it's going to shock a lot of people not if you're someone who watched this video before it came out but that's not really my problem either <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below do you think that is going to happen do you think that we will have that brawl in the opening or do you think it's going to happen later on in the movie let me know down in the comment section are you excited for the movie what do you hope to see in halloween ends let me know down in the comment section subscribe turn on post notifications that you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews i would cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video